Howdy folks, welcome to Wonder Eats. Uh, this morning uh, we are actually at uh, Taling Street and uh, we're walking around hunting for a good breakfast spot and uh, we found a place called Cafe Dian. So uh, it's quite a rustic uh, nost and nostalgic as well, a uh, little cafe. Uh, they are they're, they're open at 7 a.m. Actually, right now it's about 7 30 in the morning. So, uh, we're gonna have, go in and uh, check out what they have in store for breakfast. Alright, let's go. So, here's the view of uh, Cafe Dian. Uh, it's uh, situated at Jalan Panggong, which is uh, a stone throw away from the Pasasani MRT station. So I hope you can see the MRT station is right there as you exit. So it's, it's very very nearby and very convenient to get to. Quite a popular spot as you can see. It's packed as it is. So yes, this place is pop free and it's open from 7 in the morning to 5 p.m. Here, you can hear the music here, it's, it's really a throwback to the good old days. What a nice feel to this place. This is what we ordered for breakfast, um, a steamed custard bun here. Uh, half ball egg here, the much needed coffee to start the day, and uh, I guess this is for the eggshells. Uh, we ordered toast as well, but I guess it's on the way. Alright, so let's dig in. The vibe here is great, so do come here and check it out, especially if you're staying nearby. Um, really, again, I love the rustic place. Very nostalgic, the music is awesome. Hope you can hear it through on YouTube in the background. Alright. And our toast with uh, curry just arrived. So, this is just plain toast. Uh, there's no uh, butter or anything in it. This is the curry. Look at that layer of oil on top. But it does come with uh, curry chicken and uh, Potatoes. All right. So let's give this a try. Wow. Hot. Hmm. It's not bad. More acidic things to it than. Um, I'm used to sourness comes through. Mm. All right. So now from uh, Cafe Dian, we just walk across opposite to this um, Concubine Street. Uh, this place is popular for the street art, and as you can see, there are many people taking photographs. Here, oh, but there's there's a gate here. I guess it's closed. Oh my god! It's only open at nine o'clock. A lot of tourists here. All getting ready to go in. This is also a very nice cafe, restaurant, restaurant Bunchun. As we turn the corner, we are at uh, Ho Kao Hainam Kopitiam. Uh, this place is another very popular place for breakfast. Look at the crowd outside, trying to get a table. Thank God we already have our breakfast. There is even a queue machine in there, if you can see. Alright, good news. Street is open. It's Kwai Chai Tong. Okay. 
Luckily, it's not huge. Quite narrow, in fact, but full of street art. Especially those right at the wall. There's a little girl here. So you can see that. People taking photos at the top as well. Very nice. Remember my friend uh, Doug, the Saikun Canadian, was seated there while he's taking his video. So cool. Soya bean factory, which is uh, can be accessed through the concubine street as well. This is the bubble tea, bubble bee cafe. Love the art on the outside. This is a dessert uh, restaurant. Still on waffles, and next door is a uh, tangi kopitiam. Now, Hawker Chan, which is the famous Michelin star chicken rice, is here. Not open yet. But everybody said it was very mediocre. Guess we'll have to find out one day ourselves. But that day is not today. Now. So, as we walk, we are headed towards Petaling Street. Wow, such peace and tranquility in Petaling Street. <laughs> uh, there's still Chinese New Year songs blasting on the speakers. But other than that, there's nothing much to do. So we're just walking across. See what we can find. Maybe nibble on something along the way. This is a uh, popular place where they sell duck, roast duck. It's been around for ages. More like an institution here in Petaling Street. Some dried candies there. And so we stopped by this uh, popular porridge place. They serve the raw fish. These are drizzled in uh, probably sesame oil and there's uh, shades of gingers and coriander. All right, so let's. All right, so you can see the porridge with the fish inside. Steaming hot though. Mm. Wow, this is very, very good. Now if you read the signage over there, they are basically a third generation business. They've been around since 1949, so uh, hence the popularity as well. And um, they are featured in a lot of the, the food sh channels, the, the sign, the, the, the logos are all up on the banner. Cool. I can't believe this is my first time here. The 10 over years in Kuala Lumpur. Wow. <laughs> this is the bunting I was referring to earlier. And this is what we ordered. For 7 ringgit. Well worth the money. Right. So they have many other choices as well. Cool. So onward with our journey. Even after that meal, most of Sri Pataling is not yet open. Except for this uh, popular soya bean, keep soya bean, featured in many uh, 
travel vloggers uh, uh, videos and this is the pancake and here we are walking past Guandi temple now this temple uh, is, was built in 19, uh, 1888 sorry uh, very prosperous numbers uh, it's very popular uh, in KL uh, because of its long history. Here we are, walking past uh, Sri Maha Mariaman Temple. It seems like they're uh, celebrating a 74 year festival here soon. Again, another popular spot for tourists. There was a tour guide. There's a tour guide right there explaining about the temple to is uh, a group Oh, well, here's another look at the temple from this angle as we walk along uh, we can see here Rizzi's guest house and Lucy in the Sky Cafe now Lucy in the Sky Cafe is uh, one, if I'm not mistaken uh, one of the top 5 rated cafes uh, in this area Darling Street uh, on Google Maps. So here we are, back where we first started this morning, nearly three hours ago, and uh, we are at uh, Basasani LRT station actually. Uh, you can see, if you can see uh, right behind me, the Go KL bus, the purple line, just passed right behind. We are just at the station here. Anyway, uh, thank you for joining me on this journey this morning as we uh, explore Pataling Street uh, for breakfast and uh, have a little walk around the area. So do subscribe to our channel and uh, click on that bell icon to be notified of our next videos. Alright guys, you have a great day ahead. Thanks for watching. See ya.